Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on this beautiful Saturday to some Rocket League action. We got your host Skits joined alongside my man Pyro, and we are headed to the Golden State for the Play versus Spring 2022 CIF Esports Initiative Championship presented by Omen, NVIDIA, and the California Army National Guard. What a beautiful set of action we have here today, Pyro. I hope you're as excited as I am. Oh, you know I'm excited. Thank you so much, Skids. And a special thanks as well to HP and HyperX for their support of the CIF Esports Initiative, as well as providing prizes to the championship teams for Smash, Rocket League, and League of Legends. You got to love how sponsors are getting involved in giving prizes to the best that the state of California has to offer. And boy, Skids, do we got two teams that are ready to make their debut here tonight. Yes, indeed. We got two teams that have run through a gauntlet of a bracket, 64 to be exact, that made their way down to the final two with St. John's Bosco, the sixth seed, going up against Novato High School in the 20 seed. St. John Bosco, a team to really keep your eyes on here. The sixth seed, they're coming in here with 11 sweeps in a row, but then taking some losses against the three seed and the two seed. But you have a team that's taken down the three seed and the two seed. This is huge. St. John Bosco, call them the Titan Slayers. Call them what you will. They're a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, that each team is going to figure out who is going to be the powerhouse. Hopefully they can be as strong as some of these Omen systems. <laughs> The CIF Esports Initiative Championships are presented by Omen and NVIDIA. Professional grade Omen gaming PCs with NVIDIA GeoForce RTX graphics help players take their game to the next level. Visit hp.com slash go slash esports for more information and special education pricing. Now, Pyro, you mentioned that even though we do have the 6 and the 20 C, these teams might be a little bit more balanced than you'd think. Exactly. I mean, I had a lot to talk about with St. John Bosco, but this Novato High School coming in with some serious powerhouse and great mentality as well. You have a team that also took down the five seed and then a 17 seed who toppled the one seed earlier. I mean, if you're taking down the Titan Slayer, then maybe you have what it takes to take down anybody. You're, you're talking about, forget the seeding. You just have two incredible teams from the state of California here in the championships. It all comes down to this, folks. Game one of the best of seven. Wheels on the ground. Five minutes on the clock. And here we go. St. John's Bosco rocking the white and Novato High School in the orange. We got one of my favorite names so far, Robert, Robert, like a walrus. We were just hopping in on and cute trying to get it centered in here, but a great clear here from St. John's. That's what it's going to take. Those big clears to transfer possession. Who's going to have the most lethal possessions out of this squad? Yeah, there he was. Roar. Coming in hot from the back line and not now from the midfield, but taken away very quickly. A demolition opens up a lane. The ball's right off of the post and almost went in. Great comms there from Walrus to let the ball roll past. Sadly, it was just a bit too far to the right. Rocket League, a game of inches, and you do see it there. Keeping on this attack is St. John's, but a pinch out on the counter and an open net and a long shot goal from Q. A clear turned goal. Q with the W at the very start of the game. NHS here to play. And you've got to be careful when you try and get those passes towards the infield for the shot taking because really sometimes you're just setting up your opponents for the big shots as well. NHS playing that defense just enough to put them up one to nothing. Now four minutes left. Perez back on the defense and 
this St. John's Vasco team is already in striking range. And can they actually get something to go? You've seen uh, this ball really work the paint and get into the infield, get towards the box and maybe capitalizing here. Yes, is Boss Killer. You've heard of First Killer, one of the best players in the RLCS, but now you've got Boss Killer making the big moves. Trying to make himself the best player in the state of California. Another kickoff coming tie ball game with a, a minute and a half in and already fear almost punches that one in i just feel like the defense is still getting set in a game like this where the tension is high and so much is on the line the championship win here tonight could go to anybody some of that team bumping coming out from sjb you're looking for them to get a little more coordinated a little more composed on their transitions from defense st john's Punching their way through fear. Going to play that back wall. Doesn't center it as well as he had hoped to. But we talked about how dangerous those centerings can be. As now Novato clearing. Doesn't get the lucky snipe goal this time. But on the attacking side, we haven't seen much offense from them yet. Can they make something happen? No. Fear with the clear. Doesn't get the full boost off of the right-hand side. But the ball centered up here. And a slam dunk gets rejected by Nugget. We got those first goals quite early, but now the tempo of the game seems rather equalized. Great stops on the defensives from both end, and especially from Fear Classic here. A heroic save to dive into the box and get that save. Huge for SJB to keep this ball game in contention. This is the sixth seed. This is the team that took down the two and the three. You expect them to make their stance early on in this set, but still, we're tied at one apiece. Raz dropping back for Novato. A demo coming through. Walrus taking down Nugget. Haven't seen demos play a big factor yet. Nice centering there. Does not get the touch he was looking for. Looking like Walrus ran out of boost just a little bit too early. Now playing that wall. Dropping it down for Boss Killer. But Q, great stop. He's been pretty locked down defender here in the goal. Yeah, and that's what it takes as well to maybe weather the confidence of your opponents a little bit. You know, let them take shots. Let them go around the ring, that offensive rotation, giving them uh, play after play. But set up that blockade, that brick wall once, twice, three times. Let them know that nothing is getting through. Nothing after that first goal that they were able to attain. NHS defensively looking very strong, but... You would hope that maybe they could get some possession of their own. Fear a classic, wonderful air dribble down the field there to get something to go. A pass in the mid gets broken up and double committing there defensively. NHS able to get a breath of fresh air, but could have been in more coordinated fashion. We are just at one minute remaining. The ball game tied at one apiece. Defensive powerhouses going at it for the California State Championship. Nugget dropping back on defense with Killer taking it up the right-hand side. Has Q, took the boost, but lost it up for Fear. Can they connect here? And they do! Fear down to Walrus for the leading goal. Now St. John Bosco up 2-1. to one. And this is critical. That dump pass right into the middle of the field. You know that communication was there for SJB. Say, I am right under you. Dip and dive and dump that ball right to me so I can dominate the field. SJB score in critical fashion. Now Novato High School has 40 seconds to try and get the equalizer here. Will St. John Bosco be able to clinch it up? 34 seconds as Walrus. Trying to make another attacking move. Fear, we've seen him on the assist before. Doesn't get it there. Boss killer, two shots for one goal. No shot opportunities here. Walrus on the defense. 20 seconds remaining, turning into a counter attack. Novato has to bring some more pressure up front. Get the ball into their attacking half. But Walrus with a wide open opportunity. Doesn't have the control to get down. Already used both jumps. Now Fear punching it through. Five seconds left. One last effort here for Novato High School. Can Walrus get the ball down? Or Nugget keeping it alive. Here comes Boss in the goal. And they are going to send it through. It would have gone in. But <laughs> time runs out as St. John Bosco 2-1 to one, taking game number one in our series.
Say John Bosco looking very confident in this game. And on the other side of Novato, you have only two shots against the eight from their opponents. So, you know, you're still looking for that message to be sent from NHS. But folks, before we get into this game too, let's get a message from our sponsors. Thank you so much for being the presenting sponsor. One of the sponsors of this event, St. John's Bosco, 2-1 to one Pyro in that first match. Yeah, looking very confident. I mean, we talked about the shot totals beforehand, but that wasn't the whole story. I, I think there's a lot of more coordination to be found from St. John Bosco as opposed to their opponents who had a couple double commits, not only uh, trying to get shots, but defensively trying to clear it from their own back wall. There's still composure to be found from this Novato High School, and they got a long best of seven still to find it, but... At the end of the day, it was still a one-point game. So these teams ready to fight here and even put up that brick wall. It's Chimpkin with the first save. Nugget with the epic save right off the bat. And now another goal shot through. And that's going to be the assist coming in from Walrus. And the Fear Classic punching it in to get the early lead. SJB just relentless and... Honestly, Fear Classic, you saw him riding against that back wall. You don't you don't see a person on offense doing that. That's normally the defender. No, he's up on the backboard just to cherry pick, just to throw down the paint, and that's exactly what happens. I'm getting the feeling St. John Bosco are just getting started today. And Novato High School wants to get started as well. Not the start they were looking for here. 30 seconds into the match, already down one goal. But we are seeing some attack here as Q's taking it down from the Ooh. ceiling. Can Nugget punch it through? He does! Slips it past two defenders and boss killer. The demo's a little bit too late there. <laughs> yeah, too little too late there and yeah really snuck that shot by i mean talk about hiding in plain sight though has a presence right in front of the net the defenders a little too aware of the pass coming in and not the finishing factor so novato able to tie up early but this looking precarious it's roar like a walrus to get the go-ahead goal for sjb Already having the same amount of goals as last game. Two to one now for St. John Bosco. We're less than a minute in here and the offense is flowing. Game number one was a defensive specialist situation. And now kick off here. Can Novato get back again into this game? They were tied up for about 15 seconds. Incredible how we're seeing the final score of game number one already on the scoreboard in the first minute of the game. You can tell. Uh, what we were talking about earlier with these teams just kind of getting started, just kind of warming up those engines. It is clear that they are feeling hot and whew, you had to certainly move into that ball quickly to send it away and maybe transition opportunity for themselves. Novato back on the attacking side and when their only goal last game was a snipe that just happened to bounce through, it's good to see some attacking presence now as shots are starting to come in. One of them has fallen. If you keep pushing them through, they're bound to get more Q on the counter here. Great pass up here to Varez. Up in the corner, stopped there by Boss Killer. But Nugget up in the air gets that first touch. Also going to reset. Now Boss Killer slowing it down. Doesn't get the boost there. And here comes Q flying in to punch it. Punch it in towards the center. But Fear says no thank you. As he's dropping back, gets there just in time for the save. SJB looking almost a little too confident for their own good. You have a player like Roar Like a Walrus who has three of the shots for their team. Make it four. All right, I guess the confidence moving in fashion for this team. You see he's got that legendary baller title from playing hoops in Rocket League. But it's clear that Sakar is his main game. Wonderful goal there from Roar Like a Walrus. That's the second for his team and third for game two. 
almost a kickoff goal there. You know, Baraz was trying to uh, get the center, get the clear there. Unfortunately, trickling one in for St. John. Now roar like a walrus on the save, bringing it up the sideline. Fear is there to keep it on the attacking front. Q with the save. And now Baraz needing to get the rotations here. They're playing a little bit more back, which may end up working to stop some of these goals. But you got to be able to punch them through as well. Certainly do. I like how Chimpkin's moving across onto that backboard. That that extra couple of touches can really take the defense off guard. It's critical as a defender to be able to forecast the next play where that ball is going. Right now, the ball in dangerous territory. The shot taker there, ball of skiller. Get get past the defense. But when you get those extra touches, it makes it so hard to predict where that ball will go. So kudos to the NHS squad who trying to get something to roll, but they are still working to get out of their own third. St. John Bosco up three to one with a minute and 45 left, trying to take this to a 2-0 series. Four with the shot there, does not connect. Five shots so far for Walrus, and the ball has stayed in this orange half the whole time. They've got to get something to go here if you're NHS because there isn't a second of daylight that this ball has seen in their opponent's half, but maybe that's about to turn around. Here comes Q, trying to get the 50-50. It's gonna come off the wall, Chimkin to read. Might have gotten the flip there, but just couldn't stay high and elevated enough to get another touch on the ball. Q trying to bait in the opponent there for the shot, and there's a oh, roar like a walrus, barely there in the nick of time, and gets the goal that could sink it as a second win for SJB. Walrus with the hat trick. That's going to be four to one for SJB. Just over one minute remaining. NHS running out of time in this one. Boss Killer winning that kickoff after all is said and done. And now just got to run out the clock. If they can punch one through, it'd be even more comforting as Walrus getting in a fourth here. Does not Ooh. double save there from Perez stopping the first shot and the rebound. 49 seconds remaining. NHS has to punch it through here. Can Mraz get the touch? No, Mraz does not. And Nugget, not a great piece of contact there, but able to let because Q is back in the defensive side. Half bringing across the middle. Nugget, can he break some ankles? Boss Killer with the stop. And 30 seconds may not be enough time for three goals. I almost just want to see Novato get a longer possession here because... Right now, their longest possessions are like one, maybe two touches towards the net, and then it gets cleared out away from them in its immediacy. For this team, they need to find a way to establish control because that just hasn't been met for a length of time. This is a goal, and well, technically speaking, Skids, this game is still in contention. A second goal, definitely. Uh, definitely helps out NHS. If anything, instills some confidence going into the next series here. But four seconds. Let's see if they can punch it through here. They will not. And SJB going to take a 2-0 series lead in this one. 2-0 series lead for St. John Bosco. They looked uh, very confident and very comfortable, I would say, in game number one. But the comfort only extends here. A convincing win for SJB in their game number two. It is going to take a real flip of the script here for Novato to uh, ground their stance later on in the series. Novato trying to come back from this to win their high school Rocket League championship. But I'm sure they're also planning for the next level as a lot of you out there are. Do you want to get your degree and stay debt free? Well, with the California Army National Guard, you can get paid to be a full-time student while serving your community. We understand an upside down world, but they're writing us off before we get to the starting line. A stalled generation? Who do you think is gonna fix all this? We will, because our future is the future. So we're going to build bridges and hospitals in a day and feed those left in the cold. We're going to do all this and more because we have an appointment with destiny.
Thank you so much to the California Army National Guard. Be sure to ask them about their 100% tuition reimbursement program. Join the Guard to be a part-time soldier and earn a college degree at nationalguard.com slash CA. Pyro, down 2-0 in the series. What does NHS have to change in this third game? Yeah, well, Novato, their vulnerabilities were shown in their double commitments and lack of coordination. And they, they seem to kind of fix that up, but only in time for SJB to get way hotter on offense to start really throwing in the goals. So now at this point, it's about keeping the pace. It really feels like St. John Bosco have players that are just careening down the sideline and making swift maneuvers downfield, especially when you look at roar like a walrus. Shots from every uh, kind of location of the field again and again, and more shots coming in. Not one of those going in, but yeah, pacing going to be a huge component of this game, kids. SJB already controlling the pace, but just when I say that, Q is able to punch one through and get NHS on the board first. Their first lead of the series here. And one of my keys to victory for this game three was they have to strike before St. John Bosco. And that is indeed what happened. We've seen some counter attacking and some snipe goals. Here is another one from NHS just 30 seconds into game number three. They do indeed strike first, and one narrowly missed there for St. John Bosco. So they'll hope to get an attempt like that going again. But first, Chimkin Nugget downfield. Pass over to Q off of the corner. Where's that third player? Raz would li rather play back from the other end of the field. On the bright side for this team, they do have the lead now. Uh, you know, Nevada not often has this kind of comfort padding to work with so we'll see if they go a little more passive throughout this game to hold on to that lead sjb down for the first time 345 remaining and nhs is bringing the offensive pressure we've seen them on their heels for most of this series but actually getting some attacks in now but walrus with a beautiful air dribble getting that second touch but Nugget able to get that save. And can they get a rebound goal? So much pressure has come from SJB this series. But Q, great execution as he does get the stop. And now Walrus is the one tripping back on his heels. Starting to see some mechanical godliness come out of SJB. And maybe just a hard shot along. Goal could do it for him. Roar like a Walrus is sending balls downfield like he's in free play. Like it's a training pack. And look at him go tying up the ball game in game three. Walrus beautiful redirect. Getting the hat trick in game number two. First one in now in game three. 310 remaining. Raz and the company of Novato High School trying to get back on top. They want to take control of this game. Can Q do it? Great defensive tip there. Not allowing Q the open net, but the goal is clear right there. No players were in position to punch it through, though. Could get in position here. That is going to be Chimkin. Bring that ball downfield and looking for the dunk onto their opponent, which you've got to really worry about if your Novato is the case that Oh, some oh. high-level mechanics are being shown oh, from no. their squad. And, well, it's a little too high level on the goal line for Nevado. Oh, no. He had it didn't go through. And Perez <laughs> coming down and chips the ball in for the own goal there. That is a crucial mistake for NHS. St. John Bosco now taking the lead again halfway through game three. There is a need here for NHS Novato to just get a little more composed. Maybe send some balls downfield. Oh, that one's going to go a little too high for Q. Didn't even set up the pass, but Chimkin expecting the long clear and holding on to possession. This was a huge point in game number two that their possessions didn't last more than five seconds. But now you have more chances again and again they're able to work this ball down the sideline they're able to predict the clears from sjb and this is what could finally start to break down that defense of saint john bosco bringing the pressure is exactly what novato needs to keep doing flipping the script from the first two games now q bringing it up on the tip 
he could not get the better touch as Fear winning that 50-50 up top. That is going to be... Oh, no, Fear on the bottom there with the redirect, actually. I missed that. Walrus <laughs> won the 50 and redirect into Fear. That was that was so cheeky. It was beautiful. I didn't see it. Skins, you missed it. The whole defense of Novato missed it. This, that was Fear <laughs> Classic maneuvers right there. He, in game one, was working on their opponent's backboard just to slam it down. And there he is, cherry picking on the other end as well. That shows you the confidence of this SJB team. That shows you a team that's already taken down the three seed, the two seed. They're ready to take down anybody in this championships. And it's plays like that that prove it. Boss Killer into Walrus off the backboard. Can he get the follow through? No, he tried to get the Walrus into Fear Connection yet again, but no boost for Fear. That's keeping the clock moving. They're not upset Ooh. if they don't get a goal here. Just keep ticking away of the time. And now 60 seconds stand between St. John Bosco and the third game in this series. History repeats itself. We will see a goal come out here for SJP. And so it is told again. Boss Killer down Broadway Street adds to the tally. With yet another one. Four to one for St. John Bosco. Now the first game was the closest that we have seen at that two to one scoreline. And Novato striking first in this one. Unable to connect since then. But 50 seconds. That's plenty of time to score three. You got to get a quick one here. Set up in the middle. But nobody's there to put it through. Nugget not in the better positioning. And the clear comes from St. John. There's going to be a chance, though, still for Q. And what an angle. Are you kidding me? Taking on the whole defense and slotting it top lefty is Q. Q flying in in just the right time. I was just bashing on NHS there, missing that first one. But they must have heard it and said, don't worry, skids. We got a plan for this. Q punching in the second goal. Now 30 seconds left. Nugget on the kickoff. Gets it into their side of line for more boost. Q on the save. You've got to get a counter now. 24 seconds left. NHS needing to slice one through, but Walrus punches it in instead. Now up by three yet again, putting this game closer to being on ice. Oh, yeah. I mean, you're you're looking at the championship match. St. John Bosco here with a game three win can go to match Point could potentially sweep like they had the 11 match sweep earlier on in the season just taking down another team with their dominating tactics and even with those demolitions oh make it oh, yes plural dirty. it is just ruthless out here sjb feeling good moving into game four with three wins in a row Walrus just trying to be a problem, a menace to society with a double demo. And that is going to do it for game number three, five to two for St. John Bosco. Now one win away from taking the California State Championship. One win away. That is all it can take. Novato, they need to get a lot of different team members working in for this offense. You saw Q with five shots trying to get something, but the other teammates just with one apiece, folks. Statistics going to be a big thing that we keep mentioning here in the matches. Almost as important as Data Impressions. One of our sponsor folks, Data Impressions, is paving the way for esports in California high schools. From PCs and peripherals to esports classroom design let data impressions help your school visit them today at dataimpressions.com slash esports for the latest in technology and tournament services data impressions the official technology solutions provider of the cif esports initiative statistics skids data that's what it's all about and well we're gonna need to see Novato start to punch those numbers up yeah, they got to get their shots up, got to get their goals up if they want to survive. That 4-0 is not a number that they want to see when they conclude their season. So they had a little bit of a better offense striking in that game three, but it still just wasn't enough. Only punching in two with a late goal. 
Yeah, there, there's got to be more pressure. And we've seen that late game pressure come in very consistently from Novato. I think the reason we're seeing that skids is because, okay, there's such a discrepancy in the score line, right? You need goal after goal to start getting in these points. Have that same kind of pressure on you from the very start of the game. This Novato High School offense can be explosive. They just got to enable it from the get-go. They're going to try and do that here. They got the first strike in game number three. Can they do it in game four? Or is Fear going to take it up the middle and get a follow through from a teammate? No, no follow through. But he does get it in the attacking third. Now on the counter, Nugget trying to punch it through. But Walrus, we've talked about him on offense. But here he is on defense. Defense. Got to be more of it from NHS, but now maybe they could have a chance to score Boss Killer working this ball. The center of the field, Fear Classic though. From the sideline, looking at a 1v1, what's he gonna do with it? Tries to take it up the back wall, but the defense absolutely surrounds the play. Swarming the ball, moving it up the back line. That's all three defenders in one place. It's time to pounce, but NHS just can't find the goal. Another chance, though, from Chimkin off of the backboard. Drops down and, well, cleared away. Baraz now a minute and 15 into this game already. Needing to get some shots on goal. Who is it going to be that steps up big for NHS? Is it going to be Nugget, Faraz, or Q? Who was able to punch through a goal in the last match. Someone's got to do it now. Not much happening so far in this mid. Back and forth. And Nugget with the snipe doesn't connect. Just off of the left post. Talked about the ability for Novato High School's offense to be explosive, and they're just missing it by near margins. So, our St. John Bosco, nobody can get a golden go. Nobody's getting the ball between the two uprights. It's looking like the impossible challenge out here in game four of the championships to get one single goal. Could this be it? No, Roar like a walrus gets the save. The ball comes around the corner, though, and there's another chance to deep Defense getting bumped and hustled out of the goal line, away from the backboard. The flip reset pass will go on shot. Q can't connect either. Q in perfect positioning there, unable to punch it through. This is one of the most defensive games that we've seen so far in this series. Tied at zeros halfway through. Can Nugget get the reset? He does. Doesn't really do anything with it though, as Q flying in from the side, centering the ball. Perez a little bit too far back, but Q trying to push it through as well. And now SJB on the attack. That's how quickly this can flip. Nugget dropping back. Walrus wants the ball. Him and Fear, can they connect for one? Not exactly. Back right corner, and Perez getting it out. Does it actually clear, or is Fear going to win this 50 against Q? Q with a great save. Tension is building, it's palpable, you can feel it, and you can almost feel the aftershock of that earthquake of a shot that almost found the back of the net, but there's another push downfield now for SKB off of the backboard. There's the read, but the shot goes high. Roar like a walrus, just cannot get it to go through. Sent back down the other side of the field, gonna come around the corner and roar the walrus back on the ball. There's Q to try and split the defenders, but fear classic perseverance as ever will finally get the first goal in game four and of course it goes to St. John Bosco. We were just waiting for Fear to strike. He's been lethal in this series so far but this one unassisted sniping it from beyond half four with that long shot a minute and 30. We had three and a half minutes there of no goals. How quickly will we see a second one? NHS with their tournament life on the line needs to punch one and quickly gotta happen at some point they also have to be able to guard their back line before they think about scoring here narrowly get away from that shot and the follow almost finds its way through as well so this is where st john's they come out swinging even when they get the lead they do not back down they like to well, take matters into their own hands and you know if it ain't broke don't fix it keep going for the shot st john's with just a minute away from taking the championship title can they close it out 50 second stand between st john bosco and the trophy up 1-0 can they seal the deal heal here nhs 
trying to get the counter for Raz, unable to connect. This ball has just remained in this half for the last 60 seconds. Finally, with the clear, Nugget coming out of the corner, 30 seconds remaining. You got to go now. Don't let the ball get back on your side as Boss Killer taking back control. SJB, the suffocation on the offense, but Nugget, epic save to keep them alive. 15 seconds remaining, full boost here from Fear. Does not get the initial touch. Q trying to bump him away. Doesn't exactly work. 10 seconds with the center. Just a little bit too high. Seven seconds. Oh. You have to go now. And oh. HS might get eliminated here. It's going to come down to the last touch. Nugget keeps it alive. Q, can he redirect? It's still up. Ball is still dribbling. The bicycle hit coming through. And that is going to do it. St. John Bosco winning in 4-0 fashion are going to be your CIF state champions. Congratulations, St. John Bosco High School. You are the champions indeed. Fear Classic, Boss Killer, and Roar like a walrus, whatever. That might sound like, well, we can tell you what it looked like. It looked like goal after goal after goal. This is a team who did not stop. This is a team who had sweep after sweep in the regular season. The bracket that had 64 teams playing at the big state of California gives us one of the biggest teams to be put on the map. SJB, congratulations on your victory. We would be nothing without our partners here at Omen and NVIDIA who are proud to support the CIF Esports Initiative. Elevate your game with groundbreaking gameplay and powerful accessories. New Omen PCs powered by NVIDIA Geoforce RTX graphics make it easy to win now and upgrade later to always stay on top of your game. For more information, visit omen.com. Now, they make it easy to win, and St. John Bosco made it look easy as well, sweeping and the end, and that is going to be them crowned victorious in this finals best of seven in the great state of California. Got to give credit as well to Novato High School. I mean, we talked and said that there were 64 teams in this bracket. Not all states can say that they had to go through that journey to get to this championship stage. It just, it could have been a 4-0 sweep tonight. It could have been anything. Still such an impressive showing from Novato High School. But at the end of the day, we crown our winners. St. John Bosco High School, their varsity Rocket League team. Congratulations on the victory tonight. And we want to give one last special thank you to HP and HyperX for supporting the initiative. Not only do they help out with Rocket League, but also Smash, which will be shown on this channel. We do have a Smash broadcast coming up at 3 p.m. Eastern, so be sure to come back to this channel on Twitch. And for Pyro, I am your host, Skids. It has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you to each and every one of you for sticking around with us. Congratulations to St. John Bosco. And until next time, we will see you on the flip side.